I'd like to demonstrate for you today the termination of one of our new connectors. It's one of our no braid trim connectors. It's also known as Advantage Plus, and it's denoted by a suffix of X on the part number. So this particular connector is a TNC for LMR 600. It's an easy style. It's known as our EZ-600-TM-X. It's got the same characteristics as the Advantage series. You know, it's got a tri-metal plate, a, a coupling out which is half neural, half hex. It's got these ribs protruding in the back of the connector, so it gives a place for the, the uh, shrink boot to land and, and uh, help with moisture seal, preventing moisture ingress. Um, but it is an added extra. It has the, the no braid characteristic, no braid trim characteristics. There's no need to trim the braid. With any termination, the best uh, thing, the best way to get started is to make a nice clean square cut on the cable. And the best way to accomplish that is that, you know, if, if, you, if you're out in the field, is with our CCT01 uh, cutting tool. You want to get back an inch or more from the end of the cable, you take your blade, and you put a little bit of downward pressure on this blade. You don't go crunch the cables, a little bit of downward pressure, and you spin the blade around the cable. And what you're doing is you're scribing through the jacket, you're scribing through the braid, and you're scribing that center contact. And what you end up with is a nice clean square cut on the cable. So it's a great place to get started. At that point, you know, put a little bend in the cable, as such. Um, you can either at this point, either put the, the, the shrink boot and the ferrule on there or, 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 or prep it. But in this case, we'll, we'll put this shrink boot first, a three to one arm shrink boot, ferrule, place the ferrule with the cable. You take your CST-600 tool, and whether it's Advantage style connectors or Advantage Plus or no braid trim, it's all the same tool. They're all designed to work with the same tool. This is a CST-600. What you want to do first is you want to take side one, just look in the back and make sure there's not a pellet or something left in there from the last time the tool was used. Make sure that's clean. Place this tool onto the cable until it stops. And you start, you know, you start turning around the cable as you're depressing the thumb switch. And once this thumb, thumb switch bottoms out, you want to make it, you know, another two or three revolutions uh, of, of the tool around the cable. At that point, while you're still depressing down the switch, you pull that pellet off the cable, and now you've exposed the center conductor of the cable, the proper amount for the termination. And in some cases, you'll have a little bit of film left on there. With all of our um, LMR cables, we put 10 thousands of pure polyethylene over the center conductor with a little bit of adhesive, and that's to prevent moisture ingress. So sometimes this adhesive will be removed when you take that pellet off, and sometimes there'll be a little bit of residue. But if there is a residue, you want to just pop that residue off of the center contact. At this point, Go back to site two of this tool here, and on the end of site, site two, there's a deburr tool. Place a deburr tool over the center front of the cable, and just you know, half a dozen times, back and forth. And you'll actually you'll probably see, you'll see little filings of copper come off of there. You've got a nice chamfer on the center contact. Now you flip this around to site two, and you have a choice. You get clamp and you get crimp. In this case, we're using a straight crimp connector. It's set for crimp, that's where we want it. So that's where we leave the thumb, thumb switch. You place this over the cable, and just let the tool do the work. You know, you can hold the tool straight with the cable, start spinning around the cable like an old pencil sharpener. You don't have to worry about going too far, too, too deep. You know, once it's done, it'll just spin freely, just like that. You know, you've done, you've done enough, you can pull that off, and you're all set at that point. You take your uh, connector here, and you bring the braid back, you don't, no need to comb it out. Just bring it back as, uh, as much as needed. Just something like that. You know, if you go to comb the braid out, you're going to lose some torsional strength. You're actually going to lose some, some uh, tensile strength in terms of your connector uh, retention. So you want to leave that woven as much as possible. Place the connector over the outer conductor. And it's, it's going to be fairly snug. You're going to push it and turn it until it bottoms out. At that point, you bring that ferrule. You bring it all the way up. As you can see, you know, it's, it's, it's been designed so that that braid ends up right where it needs to be without any trimming necessary, just like that. At that point, you take your uh, RHX4 crimp handle loaded with the uh, 319203 crimp dies, and you want to crimp that right to the back of the connector as close as possible. You can actually use the ribs in the back of the connector as a guide. This tool's it's not going to release until you crimp all the way. You have to crimp all the way down. Crimp it, release it. At that point, you bring the shrink boot all the way up, right, right to just behind the uh, coupling nut. 
and use a heat source to shrink that down, and you're all set. Okay, thanks.